In this video, we're going to compare the differences between CPUs and GPUs. Let's jump in. A CPU, central processing unit, is the primary component of a computer that handles all types of computation tasks required for the operating system and applications to run, and it tries to do so with minimal latency, and it's often referred to as the brains of the computer. Some of the main internal components of a CPU include the arithmetic and logic units, the ALU, which is responsible for carrying out arithmetic and logic operations. This includes basic calculations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, as well as logical operations. The ALU is critical for the execution of most processing tasks within the CPU. The control unit orchestrates the operations of the CPU by directing the flow of data between the CPU and the other components of the computer. The cache is a small sized type of volatile computer memory that provides high speed data storage and access to the CPU. It is used to temporarily store frequently accessed data instructions from the main memory, which could be you know, RAM, like random access memory. And then we also have the memory, which is not part of the CPU, but is used to store data in the instructions that the CPU needs to access frequently while while performing tasks. We also have multi-core CPUs, so many modern CPUs have many cores, and you may have heard of something like a 16-core CPU, meaning it has 16 cores, each of which can perform a different job while working simultaneously. So what is a core? Each core of a CPU is designed to be a self-contained independent processing unit capable of executing instructions independently from other cores. And this modularity allows CPUs with multiple cores to handle more tasks simultaneously, increasing the overall efficiency and performance for multitasking and parallel processing applications. The arrival of computer graphics and animation resulted in the first compute intensive workloads that CPUs were simply not designed to handle. For example, video game animations required applications to process data to display thousands of pixels, each with their own individual color, light intensity and movement. And that's where GPU graphics processing units, as the name suggests, was originally invented to help render images on display devices. Mechanically, a GPU is similar to a CPU in that it is made up of the, many of the same components, such as the ALU, the control unit and the cache. A GPU can handle very high throughput, and this is due to the enormous amount of ALUs. In addition, GPUs also include hundreds, if not thousands of cores that manage several processing threads simultaneously. And because GPUs are best suited for repetitive and highly parallel computing tasks, people soon discovered that rendering graphics was not the only thing that GPUs were good for. And so GPUs also excel in fields such as machine learning, financial simulations, large scientific computation, and obviously is heavily used in the advancement of AI. So if we look at the core differences between CPUs and GPUs, if we look at the function, a CPU is a generalized component that deals with the main processing functions of a computer, whereas a GPU is a specialized component that is great for parallel computing. On the processing sides, CPU runs processes serially, so one after another, while a GPU runs processes in parallel at the same time. In terms of design, CPUs have fewer but more powerful cores, and GPUs have more cores. However, typically they are less powerful than CPU cores. In terms of emphasis, CPU use emphasis is on low latency, whereas the GPU's emphasis is on high throughput. For use cases, CPUs are used for general purpose computing devices, and GPUs are used for high performance computing devices. So if we look at the key understandings, a CPU can never fully be replaced by a GPU. A GPU complements CPU architecture by allowing repetitive calculations within an application to be run in parallel while the main program continues to run on the CPU. And again, the fundamental difference between CPUs and GPUs is that CPUs are ideal for performing sequential tasks, i.e. a single task is performed at a time, while GPUs use parallel processing to compute tasks simultaneously with greater speed and efficiency. I hope this was a clear explanation of the differences between a CPU and a GPU. If you want more in-detailed technical solutions, make sure to like and subscribe. And also don't forget to check out techprep.app if you want to see the most up-to-date technical interview questions and answers. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.